What happened? Oh my god, Mr. Lancaster is completely mental. When the sun All I did was take my head off at the bus stop. He gets me in his office and I'm like, I'm really, really sorry, Mr. Lancaster. It's just so hot today. I was seriously about to faint. Did you know that 70% of your body heat comes up the top of your head? And then he goes, I've been teaching a great number of years. And every now and again, I see a student who has no respect for authority. They infect the other impressionable young minds and the sickness spreads. And you, Miss Carlo, are a bad seed. From a bad apple. I guess I could say I'm sorry, but I don't really feel like I did anything wrong. You've been expelled. What? As in no longer welcome on school property? You can't do that. We well, can, and he has. That rat fucker. Can't you just give him some money or something? I offered Scarlett, he declined, you're out. So I don't have to go to school anymore? You would love that, wouldn't you? Doesn't sound terrible. Mum! Hello, darling. How's your room? Do you need anything? No. no. It's lovely. Thank you. What are you doing here? I came in last night. I'm here to see you. And discuss your future. Future Scarlet gets to sleep in for a change. Before she gets an internship in Italian Vogue. <laughs> no more discussion. Your father and I have already decided what you're doing. I was thinking we could spend some quality man time. Really? That'd be great, except um, I I'm kind of supposed to be studying with Tams. That's not fair. She has Eva. She could at least give me you. She'll get over it. Girls love you. They always want you back. Not this time, man. Edward! Yeah, hang on. Oh. Uh, uh. Where are Opta Grants? You still studying with Tammy? Mm hmm. Look, I know you hate me saying this, but she would be so good for you. And I know you've always had a secret crush on her. Mum? Look, Luke is a gorgeous guy, but he's not right for her. She's delusional. <laughs> so you're in terms, huh? In her mind, not in the real world that anyone actually lives in. <laughs> Have you talked to her? He's called about a thousand times, but she never talks to him. I don't even want to talk about him right now. She looks at his status update. Shut up! I think Mum's calling you. There's a photo of him. With a girl. Maybe that's how he deals with his pain. Well, he doesn't exactly look like he's suffering. I can't concentrate. I keep having these stupid, illogical thoughts about him. They're called feelings. Yeah, well, I can't afford to be having them right now. Ed was meant to be here 15 minutes ago. Why is he so disobedient? You might not want to hear this, but, um, Luke's over there. Backstabbing little traitor. But, you know, in fact, this is exactly what we need. A day without any annoying distractions. Namaste, bitches! Hey! hey. How are you going? Yeah, but no. I just, uh... Okay, yes, now. Scar wants to talk to us next door. I'm telling you, Tams doesn't want to see me. I don't think we have a choice. Scar can be pretty hard to say no to. Tell me about it. Now, I know certain people aren't getting along right now, but I have something I need to share with the group. Are you finally getting that breast enlargement you've been serving up for? No! I've decided to donate that money to you so you can have your hymen sewn up permanently. Hey, can we just get this over with so we can get back to it? Get back to what? Beer and bucket bongs? Okay, everybody, shut up! I have big news and I need you to focus on me. Because it's all we ever do. I've been expelled. 
Well, you don't look very surprised. Was it the uniform violations? Smoking? Absentees without a note. The late library books. Oh, you're all so hilarious. Anyway, I have other bigger news. I'm going back home to Melbourne. What? For a visit? No, forever. My mum's waiting outside. We're supposed to spend the day together and then we're flying out tonight. Well, that's great. That's terrible. For her. Well, what about me? I mean, us. You're definitely doing this. Mm, just when we were starting to like you. Yeah, tragically, freaks are the only friends I have here, so I'm ditching my mum to spend the day with you guys. What do you want to do? I want to stick it up Lancaster for kicking me out, but I'd settle for everybody putting aside their petty little differences and giving me the best last day ever. Whatever you want. I'm in. Hell yeah. Um, do we have to bust out some peer pressure? We need you. Why? Not everything's about you, Tammy. Fine. Today is all about me. What are you doing? I want to see her. Why? Is she hot? She's my mum, so obviously. Maybe I can introduce myself and say I live next door. Hello! Oh, or not? Spend the day running around trying to make sure Scarlett has a super fun day and watch her flirt. But look, he's talking to her because you won't talk to him. Their feelings, remember? They have no logic. They complete us. Yeah, who's going to make all the trouble and cause all the riots? So, what are we going to do to make International Scarlet Day the best day ever? Well, I've got my name down at this freestyling thing at Rick's later. Maybe I could do a rhyme for you. You rap? Yeah, but this is the first time in front of actual people and I need your support, so can you all come? Maybe, but more importantly, what are we doing now? I want breakfast and caffeine. Oh, I know a place I think you're going to love. So it's called the Lentil Asylum and uh, all the staff that work here are refugees and you just pay what you think the meal's worth. So you might pay 50 cents or $50. Great, because right, I'm low on cash and high on expectations. What? I can't believe you're going. Aww, I think I'm going to miss you most of all, Tin Man. Scar, do you actually want to move back or is this just your parents' idea? I never wanted to be here in the first place. Who knew all I had to do was get expelled? What's so good about Melbourne? There's heaps of bars and clubs and places where they don't let you in if you have no shoes or bad hair. It's pretty much the opposite of here. You won't have us, your crew, your posse, your peeps. We will take a bullet for you. Oh, well, maybe I'll visit sometime. Really? No. Um, so this is your idea of showing me a good time. Oh, sorry. I thought you'd like it here. No, you didn't. Are you still not over this whole thing? Of course I'm over it. I'm so over it, I don't even know what thing you're referring to. So how much were you putting in? Can we do something I like now? Valley? Green there. Beach? Yawn. How about we take a tour of the mind? Destination unknown. Wanna get high? Or do you wanna get stoned? It's only 11 o'clock in the morning. We wanna get high. <laughs> Cancer. Ah, uh, he would have a little dog. <laughs> <laughs>
you want me to kill the hellhound of the demon who took my scar away, I'll make sure it doesn't suffer. Unless you want it to. I don't want to hurt the dog, I want to hurt him. If you had given me some more notice, I could have organised some serious retribution for you. Like what? Enter revenge into the search engine of your choice. You wouldn't believe how many ways there are to ruin someone's life. Look at him picking up its poo, it's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Would you prefer it if he left it there? For someone to stand on? I prefer it if he fucked up and died. <laughs> 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 I get it. What? Scarlet's leaving and everything's gonna change. It already has. Why weren't we all friends before she got here? Maybe she's like the sun, how it sucks everything in towards it. She thinks she's the center of the universe. <laughs> hey, that is! Oh, hey! <laughs> I need someone to play with! Oh. Come on, yay! yay! It's like he's not even trying to make up with me anymore. I can't believe the love of my life is leaving forever. I never even got to touch her boob. Come on, this is a waste of valuable study time. Let's go home. This is our last day all together. No, I want to stay with these guys. Why am I surprised that you're choosing Luke and Scarlett over me? Formerly known as your best friend. I knew this would happen. What? I'm sorry that you have issues with Luke, but I still happen to like the guy. And I don't have a lot of man friends. If you haven't noticed, I'm having such a great time. Why'd you have to wreck everything? Oh, I know I'm overreacting, but I can't help it. It's like I'm pre-mental every day right now. I want to jump off. Remember when you went through your I want to be a stuntman face? Yeah, good times. No, broken pelvis. Oh. <sighs> Hello, ladies. We need to go where they're going. Plenty of fish in the sea. And they wear bikinis. So let's go fishing. Mm. Ed, can you quiz me? Uh, Wait, I'm going in. I might just hang here. It's page 54. Is there anything like this down south? I mean, less tan. So it's possible this isn't the worst place in the entire world? Point taken. I know you secretly love it here. Therapy. Excuse me, may I borrow some sun cream? Oh, sorry, I didn't realize it was you. Scarlet. Yeah, listen, I think we are... Uh... I think we kind of got off on the wrong feet. Isn't it hot? No, no, it was, it was definitely both. <laughs> yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> Look at him. Showing off his muscles. Oh, what a tough guy. Like you would it, if you had any. <laughs> this is my last chance. I only have this one day. To what? To make her love me. Oh. And what are you going to do? I don't know. But I'm going to give it a shot. If I get desperate, I can show her my butterfly. I don't even want to know what that is. The swimming stroke. Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> Good luck with that. Who wears high heels with a bikini? Every fashion model in the entire world. Are you getting in? No, I don't want to get my hair wet. Are you sure? Hey, what are you doing? Ed, hurt my ankle. 
Sorry. Can I get you anything? Um, you can get me an ice cream. And one for Dylan for rescuing me. Sure. You okay? It really hurts. You want me to rub it better? Like that ice cream now, thanks, Ed. Everybody wake up, welcome to the future There's nothing going on here, it's just me and my personal computer I don't love my family, I think they're boring And then when we get together, I'm so scared of talking to them about it Brisbane bad boy might be a fun thing to do on my last day. I'm still here. Oh, you're so cute. Hey, can I have my hat? No, I need it. What? Uh, um, have you got a stiffy? No. <laughs> Shut up. It's normal. <laughs> Fuck you all. What's funny? Nothing. Where's the girls? They left. They wanted me to go or something, so... Why don't you go? Yeah, they look like such nice girls. Because, you know, it's Scar's last day. I'm honoured. So, what are your friends in Melbourne like? Are they all super cool? Obviously. Who's your best friend? I really believe in best friends. Well, they still believe in you. So, after a rough start, I did have fun today. Thanks, guys. There was one little thing I want to do before I go. What is it? Get me some sweet revenge. 